In this video, we're going to look at the categories of smart glasses that exist and the best glasses from every category that you can buy today. There's tons of articles and videos about the top 10 smart glasses 2022 or 2023, but these all feature glasses that aren't actually available and demos that don't actually exist. As a smart glasses engineer, researcher, and user, I'm gonna cut through the marketing fluff and talk about the smart glasses that you can actually buy today and the state of the art of smart glasses technology. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more smart glasses content. The first category of smart glasses that exist today are head-up display smart glasses. They have a head-up display in which you can access visual information. In the immediate term, these head-up display classic smart glasses are limited in field of view, in brightness, in resolution, and they're not AR or XR glasses that are immersive and mixing with the real world. Rather, they're providing head up information. The fact that the display can be small and low power means that these glasses can be light and worn all day, and they can provide most of the value that smart glasses would provide anyway. Some of the glasses that fit in this category are the Vuzix Blade, which are some of the best smart glasses on the market now, and also the Inmo Air, which are highly competitive with the Vuzix Blade and feature a beautiful waveguide display, which even when on and turned up to full brightness, can't be seen by others around you. Other glasses that fall into this category are the Google Glass system. It's worth mentioning weight. The reason why head-up display smart glasses aren't using a full immersive AR display is both power and weight. Smart glasses need to be under 100 grams and ideally under 70 grams in order to be comfortable for all day use. The Vuzix Blade is just under 100 grams and the Inmo Air is about 76 grams. While I wouldn't advise wearing these all day because of battery life concerns, we're going to be seeing a few pairs of glasses dropping in 2023 that might be able to start being worn for many hours throughout the day, comfortably, both physically comfortable and socially comfortable in terms of aesthetics. Another category of smart glasses is audio glasses. These glasses are designed for audio only use cases like listening to music, notifications, intelligent assistance, etc. Because of the simplified electronics that come into play with a lack of a display, there's a few products that already exist which are possible to be worn all day and are nearly indistinguishable from normal glasses. Some of the products that exist in this category are the Bose frames, Amazon Echo frames, Huawei Gentle Monster glasses. If you're looking to get glasses that will augment your life all day, every day, right now, today, I would look into this product category. Another category of smart glasses that exist today are camera glasses. These glasses, like many smart glasses, have a camera, but they lack a display, and they focus on the camera as the main use case for things like point of view video recording, taking pictures, sharing to social media, and video teleconferencing. Some of the glasses that exist in this category are the Snap Spectacles 1, 2, 3, the Ray-Ban Stories, and thousands of different spy glasses and recording glasses that you can find on various electronics markets like Alibaba. These glasses, again, are something that are starting to become reasonable to use all day to augment your life. Another category of smart glasses is mixed reality smart glasses. These are glasses designed to create an immersive experience that not only overlays information on your vision, but manipulates, extends, enhances, and morphs your experience of physical reality. These glasses differ from head-up display smart glasses because instead of just overlaying information on your vision, that information is mixed with the real world. These glasses are incredibly technically difficult with requirements of high field of view, high brightness, high resolution, with an alignment between the world and the display, with an alignment between the world and the camera, all of the example products that exist today are still fairly large and bulky. Some of the glasses that fit into this form factor and use case are the Nreal Light and the Snap Spectacles Next Generation. Specifically, I'm not mentioning the HoloLens 1 and 2 or VR headsets, even with pass-through, because these are not smart glasses form factor. There's also an ambiguity in what the term smart glasses even means. For us, smart glasses mean two things. It's hardware that follows a glasses form factor, so not goggles, not a headset, not a helmet, that has a computer in it. Another category of smart glasses is health, fitness, and wellness glasses. These glasses can have any mix of display, audio, camera, etc. but the main focus is that they're focused in on physical and mental health and wellness for the user. 
Health and wellness smart glasses are likely to become adopted more and more in the coming years because the focus on a single use case allows for a more streamlined form factor. Some of the glasses that exist in the health and wellness category today are the Smith Interaxon Low Down Focus EEG glasses and Solos glasses. The next category of smart glasses is ophthalmic glasses. These smart glasses are designed to do what glasses have always meant to do, improve human vision. Some things that ophthalmic glasses do are provide magnification to vision, improve prescriptions, provide active light therapy, etc. Some of the glasses that exist now in this category are Luminet active light therapy glasses and eSight glasses to help the blind and low vision to see. An often underappreciated category of smart glasses is screen smart glasses or productivity glasses. These are designed to serve as external monitors and be interfaced with similar to how you would interface with your laptop. The most notable product in this category is the Lenovo Think Reality A3. So far, I've only mentioned glasses that you can buy today. Let's take a quick look at some of the glasses that are going to be dropping over the course of the next year. First off is the Vuzix Shield, which is going to be the next step after the Vuzix Blade, and that have an incredibly powerful processor and stereoscopic displays. They're going to be $2,000, and they're mostly designed for enterprise, but as a premium product, users who want to stay on the cutting edge of smart glasses should definitely look into getting a pair of shields next year. Also coming up is the TCL Linneo glasses. Now we haven't heard a ton from TCL, but we've seen a couple of simple demos which are going to be looking really, really nice as a pair of head-up display smart glasses dropping next year. Also of interest is the Inmo Air 2. This is the original Inmo Air. While it has some issues with battery life, the comfort the social acceptability and the display are excellent. And if Inmo can keep this up and improve the battery life on the next iteration, I think they're gonna be an excellent pair to contend with. Also becoming available in 2023 is the Open Source Smart Glasses, a project that I am leading with an open source team around the world. You'll be able to run applications on these glasses like a contextual search engine. If somebody says a word that you don't know, we'll define it. If somebody mentions a politician that you haven't heard of before, We'll show you their picture in a quick summary of who they are. If someone mentions they're from a place where you've never been, we'll pull up the world map to show you exactly where that is. Tinkertech Labs are building Transcribe Glass, which have a single use case of transcribing a conversation and overlaying it on vision for the deaf and hard of hearing. Also dropping next year is the Nemo Planet. Nemo Planet is focused on productivity. It's focused on being a system to replace your laptop where you can have multiple virtual monitors in the world around you. This has been an overview of the state of the art of smart glasses technology. From simple tools like navigation, notes, and a web browser, to entirely new tools like head-up display live language translation, x-ray vision, sensory augmentation, super memory, and more. Smart glasses are going to completely change what it means to be human. Let me know what smart glasses you are the most interested in, what your experience has been with smart glasses, and anything I missed. Check out my other videos for tons more content about smart glasses. And be sure to subscribe to follow more smart glasses content, as well as neurotechnology content. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.